Hey, Gavin, well, obviously the, the obvious one, what did it feel to, to hit your first home run here at Dodger Stadium? Yeah, it, felt, it definitely felt good, especially in that situation. Um, we were kind of chipping away at the lead and grinding out at bats and competing pretty hard there. So um, it felt good in that situation to, to get a good pitch to hit. But, uh, you know, everybody competed um, pretty hard tonight. So it was, uh, it was a good overall team win. How, how big could this win be for you guys? Obviously, you kind of snap out of the little funk you've been in. Yeah, especially um, coming from behind. I think that might give us a little momentum there. So um, it definitely felt good to get that win. Um, you know, obviously, we haven't been playing great baseball, but tonight was a clean game. Walker competed. Um, the bullpen competed. We competed in our at-bats. So overall, it was really fun. And Dave mentioned that there was a beer shower or something like that in the, in, in the clubhouse. What, what was that? What did that look like? Uh, yeah, it's just something we do sometimes. So, um, obviously it was, it was just what we do. It's fun. Um, it's something that our clubhouse has always done a little bit of, so, uh, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> I, I gotta ask you this one. Justin Turner is already making fun of you with the tight pants. <laughs> what's what's kind of going on there? Um, they're actually Walker's pants. Whenever Walker is out there rocking the tight pants, I'll, uh, I'll rock them with them, but they might be here to stay now. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> it's a strong look. Thanks, man. <laughs> Next question is for Mike DiGiovanna. Go ahead. Gavin, did they at least shower you with old Milwaukee? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was not in the beer shower, but I was I was a part of it, but I was not getting the beer dumped on. <laughs> as, uh, as big as that homer was, that seventh inning at bat was pretty impressive, too. Uh, I thought maybe you were trying to inside out a ball. Dave said it was more self-defense. Sort of take me through that at bat. Uh, yeah, um, he was tough tonight. Uh, he had a lot of things going good for him and really good mix. So I kind of saw that, you know, they were shifting me. So I had some room on that side. But ultimately, I believe it was a cutter on the inside part of the plate. And it was more like kind of just a get off me swing that had some luck in there, obviously. Um, but there was a big left side open. So in my mind, I was thinking left center, especially with um, a lot of the cutters he was throwing and the sliders um, in the outer half attack. So that was kind of the game plan. After the homer, would you say you had more joy or relief? Uh, joy, for sure. We, uh, I think the boys, we needed that win for sure. So it was, it was definitely, it was joy. Next question from JP Hornstra. Go ahead, JP. Yeah, Gavin, I noticed the last week or so you'd had a few more hits fall, falling than you had um, in April. And I'm just wondering if you felt like you personally were kind of building toward a game like this. Uh, yeah, I think me and Rob and Brownie and Bates have been grinding in the cage pretty hard um, and just trying to feel comfortable in, in the setup and um, kind of in the game then just shutting the brain off and then just focus on your game plan and your approach and um, what the pitch is trying to do to you. So, uh, yeah, I think, you know, I kind of had some momentum a little bit, but ultimately tonight was the first time I felt uh, that swing kind of come back a little bit. Um, so it was good. And generally speaking, have you been able to, like you said, shut the brain off going into the games this year? Yeah, definitely. Recently, for sure. Um, once the game starts, to just compete mode. And um, trying to grind out at bats, especially once you're down on two strikes, just try to grind it out and, and work the pitcher. But um, yeah, it's like once the game starts, just go out and compete and try to figure out the cat and mouse game between the pitcher and you. Uh, that was your first home run since September of last year. Um, I don't know how much stock you put into hitting the ball over the fence, but um, can you? Do you feel like you can be in the zone you were in even without the home run, or did you need this? Um, yeah, I think. I'm not never trying to hit a home run, especially um, obviously I haven't been getting a ton of hits. So more it's just trying to barrel the ball and then move it forward and um, try to make some things happen, but never trying to hit a home run. Thank you. Yep. Next question from Ron Kavner. Go ahead, Ron. Hey, Gavin, can you recall a time you've ever – shown that kind of emotion on a baseball field. I don't know if you've had like a, a walk-off win in the minors or, or something. Is that anything kind of compared to that kind of emotion on the baseball field for you? Uh, no, that kind of takes the cake. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't really know where that came from at all, to be honest with you. 
Um, I think I saw Jock do it last week, so I was kind of copying him. No, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, uh, no, that's by far the most emotion I think I've shown. And um, just talking to some guys and just, you know, um, we definitely need that for sure. So 